I had an enclave in Waterdeep, you know. Much grander than this. Shah ordered me to raise it. Kill all who followed me. Claim they betrayed me. When in fact, I slew those who showed nothing but loyalty. Yeah, Shah is a little Shah loopy had me do loop. That. And I did. To cover my tracks. To yeah. usher in Char's, you. Shah is loopy loop. What are you talking about? You became my mission. To take a child of Salunas and turn her over to Lady Shah. To show that all light fades and darkness will prevail in the end. Wrong. All this was to make you into what the Dark Lady needed you to be. The planning. The training. Those deaths in Waterdeep. It was all to groom you to replace me at her right hand side. And still you threw it away. Yeah, because it's what you gave her was garbage. Everything you gave her was garbage, and garbage needs to be thrown away. Just like you. Are you ex expecting sympathy? What do you want to do, Shadowheart? She's not a threat anymore. Let's let her go. Kill her. Be done with this. What do you want to do, Shadowheart? I want to see my parents. And I don't care what happens to this one. She's been in my head long enough already. Do what you like. I know you'll choose well. What are you doing? Come back and finish this yourself. You owe me she that. She owes you nothing. Let go, mother. Embrace loss. Thank you. Boo thinks you have had every chance to change your ways. Count yourself blessed it is not he who judges you today. This is hard. It's hard because Cord wants wants to give people the benefit of the doubt, as I said. And he tries to give people a second chance. However, however, there are some people that he meets where his gut, his gut is telling him that they just don't have any remorse or any interest in, in redeeming themselves. Um, not even a glimmer of light or a glimmer of hope that they would be able to redeem themselves. So that's people that fall into that category would be Raphael, people that would fall into that category were the people in the Temple of Baal that we decided to take out even though we didn't have to. Like those are people that that um, Cord feels he his gut is telling me he shouldn't give them the benefit of the doubt. His gut did tell him to give the vampire spawn that were trapped, the vampire spawn that were uh, captured in Ka Kazarox, whatever his name is, Casavor, Kalo, whatever, Astarian's master. His gut was telling him that they had some glimmer of hope and, and wanted to have the chance to redeem themselves, or at least live a life that wasn't going to cause chaos. He had some... Yeah, he had some th hope for that. But for this woman, he just sees... Especially when she, like... She just slaughtered all of her friends and made Shadowheart hurt her own parents and had her parents watch their daughter be corrupted. Like, Kord's like, there's a special place... There's a special place in the Nine Hells for someone like that. And Cord is like, he would not... I guess at the end of the day, Cord has to ask himself, what would cause him to sleep better at night? Would it cause him to sleep better at night letting this woman free? Or protect the rest of the world from her? And I think in this case, honestly, I think he would rather uh, protect the world from her. I draw near, my lady. Bye, Felicia. <sighs> Bye. Send her our regards. I'm not gonna talk to her again. I'm glad that Shadowheart was like, I don't care. Like, I, what I liked is that Shadowheart didn't want to do it. She didn't want to kill, like, 
the Mother Superior, which is different from Asterion. Asterion really wanted to kill his master, and he had every right to. He had every right I did not to do that. I did not snore. It was a battle trance. So I thought it was really cool that Shadowheart was like, she's over. She's over the Mother Superior. She wants to look forward to the future now. Asterion's doing the same thing. They just did it in slightly different ways. And Shadowheart was like, like, it's not. She's not even worth it. The Mother Superior's life or death, not even worth oh, her to concern herself now. over. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. So I'm proud of Shadowheart for realizing her truth, whatever her truth was. In Steel that. Sharp, hamster hungry. Okay. Now we're gonna loot like crazy. Note to self. She has two of these. She has. <laughs> She needed two notes there themselves? Wow, they must really be worried about these memory wipes, don't they? Tuesday's inspection was a disaster. How could I have overlooked the stains on my tunic? Must ask Hyrald where they get that special soap that dries blood out of fabric. Oh, that was another update with the recent patch, is you can use soap. You can use soap items to wash blood and other grime off of your characters, which I think is super cool. These Larian Studios, man, they just are such creative, ingenious developers. All the things. All the things. Handmaidens may set the wear strength to 18. The enhancements has no effect if the strength was higher without it. Maybe. I mean... Vaconia's Priestess Robe. While Obscure, the weather has been on stealth checks. Meh. Walking Fortress. When you when a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction daily. Two days, force damage, not get prone. Spell guard. You gain advantage of saving throws against spells. Spell attack rolls against. Yeah, this is this is whatever it takes. This is a much well deserved shield. Oh yes, oh yes. I dig. I dig that so much. I have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Um. And Vaconia's personal chest key. We will loot that. Checking. I'm really worried about what we're gonna find. What's left of her parents. I don't know if they're dead. They're actually dead or worse. That's what I'm worried about the most. Exciting news. And again, they have two, uh, yeah. They have two notes a piece in case they forget one of them. Alta, Al Talon. The Mother Superior has approved me for applied poisons and paralysis, paralysis training. I'm so proud. Your little knife miss is going to be a certified venom specialist for the Dark Lady. That will also qualify me to study the basics of sudden esophageal collapse. What fun! Gold ring. Yeah, what fun. Night who dines on full fish. Shara Navin Karimas. Shara Navis Garrigan. Shara Navis Merkin. There's a lot of Shar followers. Well, dear ma'am, you were right, ma'am. What they ask of you as a novice in the cloister is just, my heart isn't hard enough to do these things. I had to run out of last 10 days interrogation class to vomit. But now that I'm in, I don't see any other way out again. Not alive, anyway. I don't even know yet how I'm going to get this letter to you. I'm scared. And the way the Mother Superior looks at me, I think she knows it. Oh, I wish I'd listened to you. You're Dimbert. Though here they've dubbed me Blue Blue Nail. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's rough, especially when people realize too late that, and they want a way out. That's very rough. Silver key. Oh. Center camp. Center camp. Center camp. Center camp. We've got a lot of selling to do. A lot of armor that we're going to sell off camera. Sentry Frederick. Lost training hall key. Lots of keys. Martial catechism. Strengthening of the sword arm. 
Melee drills for two hours each day, change opponents and weaponry for each round. Bloodletting is acceptable indeed, it is expected. Remember, a well-trained warrior has the scars to prove it. Honing of the archer's eye. Range drills for two hours each day, targets will progress from fixed to moving to live. Wow. Hardening of poisoner's heart. Crafting the theory and theory of poisons and concoctions. For two hours each day, people shall be a doubt dosed with low levels of poisonous substances in order to develop their tolerance. Okay. Let us have a little look. See, as a person of... who is this person of faith, I am cool with whatever religion you have as long as you are not... as long as you're not using it as a cute, an excuse to just be a, a terrible person, if I should say, if I should put it, that takes away from the world, not contributes to it. That's just my opinion. Um, don't take away, contribute. Don't destroy, create. Things like that. Um, glories of... Because if your religion is as destructive as like the Shah religion is, I'm not down with it, personally. Because, you know... Yeah, there's freedom of religion, but if the freedom of religion... If the freedom of religion um, ends up conflicting with basic personal rights as human beings, like the right to life, liberty and happiness, things like that. Um, that's where I have issue. That's where I think that there needs to be a... I, I think there needs to be some sort of balance between that. A volume of Sharan hymns extolling the beauty of darkness, the comforts of nothingness, and the profundity of surrendering all to the Dark Lady. A bookmark highlights one such song. Lady Shar, Mother Night, hear our most solemn refrain. Against our will, you were a breast. We were a rip from your breast, condemned to a world full of pain. Save us, O night singers! Extinguish the stars! Grant us an eternal rest. Our faith is strong, blades are sharp. We long for your final test. But there are gods whose sole purpose is <sighs> to have their followers serve them and worship them. Let's if that's their sole purpose. Does. I don't know if Cord. I don't know if Cord is down with that. Another step forward. Shar headwear. Wow, a map of might be useful. Faerun. Those crates. It looks like there's no. I can't read that for some reason. <laughs> Minx, Every could you please? Buttock, another step on the map. Thank you. Let's get going. Oh. What the heck is this place? The, the cloister. Night orchid pouch. Night orchids. Oh. Why does this place seem so familiar? This is where she, this is why she likes night orchids. It was her favorite flower. Maybe I need more pockets. her favorite flower my parents are still captive I need to free them and we will we're just searching around a sad thing to raise a child down in the darkness small wonder shadow heart is so pale and the smelling of damp <laughs> <laughs> this place is miserable even for the house of a god it is miserable. Let's see what our companions have to say about this miserable place. Because they can apparently see mind. what we see. We're connected that way through the through the tadpoles, I guess. I've not felt the presence of the shadow weave like this since we left behind that cursed darkness. We must be on our guard. Agreed. Hmm? Did you Are you talking to me? What was that? Okay. I feel odd. My memories feel more like dreams or stories I've half overheard. Hmm. I 
I sometimes wondered if Viconia had returned to the Underdark. But instead, she brought her sordid little patch of darkness to the city with her. Yeah, but that's okay. We sh shoved it with the light. I went to met your family. Rihanna's rather keen to see you. Ah. You've wandered far in my absence. And now you come to march me to the gallows, is it? You don't want to go home? Come on, then. Likely you have some pointed questions. But you shall have to get in line behind my dear, dear daughter. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that very soon. I... <clears throat> oh. I seem to have forgotten myself Their memories there. are being affected. Interesting. Interesting. Even with the Shadow Curse gone, Shah's presence blooms everywhere. No doubt her teachings have found a strong purchase amongst the city's populace. Yeah. Okay. This explains the Night Orchid. Pure elixir of all arcane cultivation. Stained book. They heap precious pelt upon the altar as if it were nothing. The door wants gold, trinkets, baubles of mammon. Hastily written note. Oh, I'll give it a shot. She is going to make me look in the mirror again. She is going to take my memories. I do not want to forget who I am. I like flowers. I like animals. My name is... The writing breaks off with a jagged scrawl, as if interrupted. A mirror that steals memories. Very sharp. Yeah. A mirror. Night Orchid Cave. Evil hides, and Boo seeks! Where Boo leads, Minsk follows. A ton of things in A here. Gift for Boo. All of which we're going to sell. How long is it going to take for you to get encumbered? We shall see. I mean, they're not going to be used by anyone anytime soon. All right. A lot of things to sell off camera. Got the long arm of... Yeah, we're going to put that there. Dwarven thrower. Fierce Golden Helm. I just want to vacuum everything up. Ooh. Shar headwear. Can't give up now. Ancient artifact, Agent Roster. A roster of five infiltrators is written in an elegant hand. Above their names is, is a note that this group have proved themselves to be the most skilled and have the greatest chance of successfully obtaining the artifact, but they remain utterly expendable. Calden Darkwood, leader. Buttock Vris, close combat. Crook, deep crop, lockpicking. Drina Kovlik, languages. Shadowheart, healer. Oh, she was part of another group. I see, I see. Now we're getting learning more and more about about everything. Never wanted the easy path. The granite chair. No traps, please. Scroll of Otto's Irresistible Dance. Send that to camp. History of the Flaming Fist. I think I already read about this, I think. 
Chromatic Pattern. The Quartasune. We already have so many habits of patriarchs. I held self help book warned against the dangers of self pleasure. The crimes of the Moon Maiden by Anti Lunar League. Woe unto any who throws their lot in with Salune. Four ways she was she has of pulling the wool over one's eyes. First, she can make you think your husband is a werewolf, then he's only forgotten to shave. When he's only forgotten to shave. Second, she's always changing, making it difficult for slow painters to capture her likeness. Third, tides. It's absolutely bugger the tides. Fourth, people keep associating the moon with femininity. And frankly, we're fed up reading the same poetry over and over. And it's all that celestial bin Vince Salune's fault. Wow. Okay. Consolation of the Dark. An introductory text explaining the allure and superiority of Shar above all deities. All other so-called gods are liars and charlatans, given to cheap tricks and easy answers. They seek to enthrall mortal hearts with promises that are beyond their ability to fulfill. Lady Dashar does not do this. Her words are honest, and her gift is simple. Her embrace awaits eternal darkness, the purest of nothingness, the end of all pain. It will come to us all, ultimately. Nothing else will matter, and it is the role of Lady Shar's children to hasten that understanding amongst the ignorant. When we carry out Lady Shar's holy work, we must inevitably cause pain and suffering. It is only to reveal the truth. What we do is a kindness. Oh my goodness. That is... City none of that makes evil. any sense. Or perhaps Boo just at needs all. To bathe. Except for people who just do not have a, a sense of humanity. Lunar Dark Lies. Is that blood? No, never mind. This scroll is filled with soothing, persuasive arguments encouraging the sick at heart to turn themselves from Sehenin worship. The Moon Maiden, is the god, as the goddess is called, will whisper naught but lies. No problem solved, only a sense of fondness that is as cold as the lunar marina, seas of empty pale dust, and even that gradually fading for the whisper worshipper. As an alternative, the scroll speaks of Shar, who whispers only truth. Her fondness is warm, unexpectedly so for the, a goddess of darkness, grief, and nihilism. But why should that be unexpected? The sick at heart will find only succor and blessings in the embrace of she who understands them best. No. Baldrun founds a city. This text roots its subjects to Bal on Baldrun, a sailor of exquisite renown who founded the city of Baldur's Gate many years ago. The prose is colorful, but a little too self-satisfied self around the edges. And the novel would be unremarkable, but for one small entry about halfway through. Balduron claimed a guardian and a friend, Ansor. Bright were Ansor's scales, and brighter still his breath. Ooh, it's a dragon board. Yet after betrayal too piercing to recount here in worthy detail, Ansor fled beneath the stone, thereby changing the name of the region he now slumbers under the match under to match his draconic lineage. Can't slow down. <laughs> huh? Never Does this open any of the chests? I, with all the keys I got, you would think pressure. it would have opened a chest like this. Might as well add guidance, not that it matters. Because he's just crazy good at this. Crawler mucus, elixir seed visibility, silver goblin, why not? The glories of Night Singer. I've got a long road ahead. I need to find a way forward. <laughs> The volume of Sharn Him. I already read this one. Black Diamond, Stone Inscription. No, no, no. Save, 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 save. Don't load. Save. Seems simple enough. Dormitory. Nocturne. All's this well, is ends. not as bad as I could have. What? Nocturne? Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We we trained together. We used to be close. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is, if you're not about to turn on me. It seems you no longer walk in the Dark Lady's shadow. Then you two are enemies, not friends. No, I'm not. Kord's feeling she might. this might be all a trick. 
Cord knows this may very well be a deception, but he's willing to give her the benefit of the doubt, for now, until she completely ruins it. Sha condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You may not remember, but we shared a lot together once. Good times. Hard times. I will not turn on you, even if it angers Lady Shah. That's good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. Certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me. You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as quartermaster. I can sell you some things to Good. aid you. And we can catch I up. I have a lot of things to sell to you. I can sell back your own stuff. Summon peace? Cinnamon roll? This Cinnamon and roll? Boot. Fruit the porridge? Keeps, yes. We hit the jackpot! Multiple cinnamon rolls. Yeah! Oh, some melon peace. I was like, summon peace? Shar Hedwar. Shar Headgear. Headwear. Violence. Not just this year, Helm. I wanted one of my own so badly. Hard to imagine now. Yeah. These jewels. Why do I remember these of all things? A gift Ooh. from Soldanesila, Mother Superior said. Nice. Curious. I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. High security vault number eight, I think, if I remember. We'll go with that next. Oh, the thing is at the counting house. Interrogation log. No time to rest. Oh. A log of interrogation notes detailing the Githy a Githyanki captive's torture over a number of days. The captive remains strong at first, but very gradually starts to sip, slip and offer up information about the whereabouts of a mysterious artifact hidden away by Queen Vlaki. Githyanki. Part of the Sharon's preparations to seize the astral prison, no doubt. Yeah, in the service of night. It has been years since Waterdeep, since Sultan Nesselar. At last, the trial has gone cold enough so that I may recommence Lady Shar's holy work. It is true that secrecy is the greatest shield of all, yet the sacrifices needed for this new beginning have been steep. It had better prove to be worth it. Baldur's Gate. It feels strange to be back in this place, so familiar, yet I cannot engage with it. I am like a living ghost, hidden and watching. Time has rushed past like an autumn storm. Lady Shar's church in Baldur's Gate grows steadily and in secret under my command. I have named it the Cloister of Somber Embrace, for the Night Singer's Embrace is the final goal that we all crave. One day this place could even surpass what I created in Otterdeep, yet by then it may not be mine to command. Lady Shar tells me that there is another, one I must pry from a foul Selunite heritage and reshape to become a Darkness's companion, champion. An audacious plan, but one that could cost me everything. I must stay resolute. I must find this child for Lady Shar. My spies have reported to me the child has been found. A girl with the hair of sheerest black. She will soon come of age and be lost to the moon bee forever. But our plan is in motion. Under a cloak of darkness, the girl shall soon be ours. Yeah, These boots Cord is like... Everything. He can rest easy knowing that... That horrible woman is no longer walking the surface. I think... I think he's... He's good with that. He's made peace with that. Okay. The black diamond. I'm wondering what that black diamond is for. Stone inscription. Here we go. Treasured in light, lost in dark. something on the altar. What's inside?
That definitely scared me. Black Diamond. Darkest Charles Char's cruel embrace. Still alive, so that's progress. Threshold of loss. Captives of Char. A ledger bearing the names of those incarcerated in the Chamber of Lost. Some are noted to have died. Trescalier, Githyanki, double guard at all times. Deceased. Arnel Hallowleaf, Emmelyn Hallowleaf, Baron Alice Bormel. Unknown interlocal, deceased. Is Hallowleaf? Is it Hallowleaf? Decapitated gift. hiding here? They didn't even bother taking their weapons. Sloppy. Very sloppy. Another day. Subject mapping results, Githyanki number 7. A log of interrogation notes detailing a Githyanki captive's torture over a number of days. The captive remains strong at first, but very gradually starts to slip and offer up information about the whereabouts of a mysterious artifact hidden away by Queen Blacket. Uh -huh. Let's keep going. I see. Kind of cool how much uh, Shadowheart's backstory is intertwined with is indirectly intertwined with um, Lysel, given how much they really didn't like each other at all. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? Hollow leaves. You can't be. Another vile trick. <laughs> No, there is no trick. It's her, Genevelle. Genevelle. Jen, a little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace, it is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. Shard looks like she's mad. Never where my power resided. Every time you try to step away from me, every time you try to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. Shit. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. Yeah, Cord is really starting to understand where Gale is coming from. Because right now, Cord's whole attitude at this moment is like, a lot of the Faroon gods suck. So many of the Faroonian gods really, really, really suck. So it'd be kind of awesome to try to be one of the the better ones, or at least less sucky than than Shar and Vlacketh, for example. You're a monster, not a goddess. Ignore her, Shadow Horde. She's just trying to spite your victory. We should leave. We should leave. Ignore her. Sh yeah, she. The a goddess is not gonna care what I think, but she'll care what Shadow Heart thinks. Ignore her, Shadow Heart. She's just trying to spite your victory. Victory? 
Your victory is but a guttering candle in the dark. But you admit it's a victory. Gotcha there. Inconsequential. Uh, I'll take my victories where I can get it. I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you. You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. That's a, the that's... Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. Mm. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. She's a human. Her this mom was a is human. This my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned exactly. here. Exactly, this isn't a lesson. Only family's torment, a yeah. spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. This is going to be rough. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Yeah. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. You have to choose Shadowheart. Free your sh parents or rid yourself of Shar's curse. She wants you to kill your parents. Her idea is a parting gift. Talk to your mother and father, see what they wish. Yeah. Talk to your mother and father, see what they wish. Because she's going to want to save her parents. She's going to want to save her parents. So I think she'll have an easier time making a decision if she knows what they truly want for her. I, speaking as a parent, this this resonates with me well. Of course, like, your child are the future. Your children are the future. Your children are more important than your yourself because you're just trying to pay forward some contribution to the world, some good contribution to the world through your children, for those of you who are blessed enough to become parents, and if that's like your 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 path, you know, your your calling, if you want to call it that. So yeah, it's a it's a terrible decision, but the right decision is is for her to rescue her future because if she doesn't then everything that her parents endured all this time all the pain all the suffering would be in vain they were going through that vein that pain and suffering for her not for themselves you know not for themselves it was for her and it would just crush them they would have a fate worse than death living but knowing that she was still cursed by Shar. as a parent i would know that would be a fate worse than death for me so she needs to do the she needs to do the merciful thing you know the merciful thing i think talk to your mother and father see what they wish i'm i'm sorry i didn't know any of this was happening until it was much too late i came to try to put things right and you did you found us all these years that dream kept us going that you would break free. Yeah, they got what they no wanted. what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. Yeah. yeah. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. Mm -hmm. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. Right. I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. I'm going to cry. Oh, Shadowheart. Of all the characters that I thought would make me cry, their backstory to cry, I didn't know it was going to be Shadowheart. She started off as the character that was 
she wasn't boring. None of the characters are boring. But I think that her backstory stuff was had a bit of a slower start compared to some of the other characters. Asterion was like, boom, in your face. I'm going to entertain you with my backstory. Um, Gail, Will, uh, Lysel. I mean, Lysel, I guess, it was had a slower start, but Lysel had enough things about her character that just made had, kept her really... had her stand out and make her interesting. Shadowheart was a little bit more in the background compared to the other characters, but she really shone a lot in the end of Act 2 and then this part in Act 3. She's shown a lot, girl. Like, the, again, mad props to the writers and to the developers. They did so well with these character backstories and the conflicts and this hugging on your tugging on your heartstrings and your emotions and it's just like, I feel for this girl and I just want her to be happy and I can feel the pain of finding her parents only to lose them again and buy her hand and all that good stuff, but I think that the choice here is is clear that she has to understand that she's already they've already won her parents have already been rescued have already been freed just by seeing and validating their belief validating the hope the hope that she would break free from Shar and she gave them that. She gave them that by seeking them out and showing them as living proof that she did it. So she already freed them. She doesn't owe them anything else. Not that she owed them anything to begin with. And so now the last request they have is for them to leave this world knowing that she's in a far better place. Like that would be a beautiful, beautiful gift for them. If it were me, that would, if I was in that situation, that's how I would want to leave the world. You know, knowing that my child was in a much better place after witnessing the darkness that they were in. And no matter what, Shar can't take that away from them. They've already won, and she cannot take that away from them. You should end their suffering and yours. Do not lose your parents, not again. The pain can be handled. This is your choice, Shadowheart. You don't need me to tell you what's right. This is your choice, Shadowheart. You don't need me to tell you what is right. Is this truly what you want? It is what we need. All of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jan. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Oh. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. Oh my god. I'm not gonna ask questions, I'm just gonna remain silent. What are those? Moonwoods. They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. It didn't, well, fortunately, it didn't look like they went through pain. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. Gladly. One thing. What should I call you now? Shadowheart? Genevelle? Genevelle is such a beautiful name, gorgeous name. What about your memories? Is there more that was, isn't there more that was taken from you? More. Most, I should think. I doubt Shah will be given over to generosity. Best if I just consider them lost. I have everything I need to make new memories. Oh, good for you, girl. As for this place. All I did here. You don't need to remember Let that. Let it stay forgotten. Oh. oh, beautiful. Oh, I love Shadow Heart's story. I love it so much. My parents. I saw them. Spoke to them. And let them go. It's... It's more than I can take in just now. I understand. Give me a night. To try and get my head together. Of course, I understand. 
Shadowheart's parents are at peace. And so she, it seems. I hope so. I hope so. Oh. So good. So good. Boots craves the crunch of unvirtuous nethers. Still breathing. How about you, Despite mates? everything. What we did might feel an evil thing, I know. But if Minsk was not saved from the cult, was used to hurt those who only meant to help him, I think that ending Minsk might have been a way of saving Minsk too. That's a good way to look at it. A very good way to look at it. It would be nice to Don't see if we can get memories step. from that friend. From that friend of Shadow. I need a moment for the two of us. Ever will Shar try to twist bonds of love into chains of service? Shadowheart did not let her. Yeah. I cannot presume to know her parents. Or what they suffered. But I know that they were proud. In the end. I believe so too. So beautiful. Oh, I'm still... Shadowheart's memories will be a heavy load for her to carry. But her suffering is over. And so is her parents. I hope she finds comfort in that. I hope so too. A cruel task fell to Shadowheart. But she did as her parents wished. She has my eternal respect. And I hope she soon finds peace. She has my respect too. 100%. What she did was hard. One of the hardest things she could have ever done. But she did it. Just like Lizelle. It is no small thing to slay one's life bringers. Shadowheart did what was right, not what was easy. I just love how much respect Lysel and Shadowheart have now. Now they can become BFFs, BFFs to enemies to BFFs, BFFs to lovers, lovers to wives. That's that's what's in my head canon. Oh my, these those two have come a long way. I'm so glad Shadowheart's ordeal is over. It'll be a long time before she'll come to terms with all this. But at least now, she can start. Free of Shah. Yeah. I agree. What Shadowheart did for her parents was a profound act of love. Her courage is... Well, it's quite something to behold. Yeah. There's nothing that would give me... It's like, I need a kiss. That was sad, Gail. I need a kiss. I need you to make me feel better. I feel better now. How are you feeling? Same way as with the crown, our fates will be in our own hand. No matter. Our okay. The mirror of loss. Let's say before we start, before we gaze into that, because I don't want to lose any of my memories. It could also give memories back, maybe. A huge polished disc looms before you. A mirror. One used by the Sharans to plunder memories from the minds of others. This feels familiar to me somehow. I'm sure I've stood before this mirror before. Many times, perhaps. I don't know if I want to give it one of my memories. Offer a prayer to the mirror. I don't want to offer a prayer. No, 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 no. I'm not touching that thing. No, 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 no. Cord is curious. He ain't that curious. He ain't that curious. That is a mirror we're going to stay away from. Wondering what the shopkeeper, if the shopkeeper was gonna attack me outright or not. Is Nocturne still here? Greetings. 
Do you seek to trade? As Shadowheart's friend, I'll extend the privilege to you as well. Yes, we do. Not bad. Have you met my hamster? Let's sell all the armors because they're the heaviest thing here. And she has poison, raiding resistance, viciousness, malice, or the vein, superior healing. Let's get some superior healing potions. We could always use those. Supreme healing. Supreme elixir of arcane cultivation. Gain additional level four slot. Replace effects from other elixirs when drunk. Interesting. Okay, I think we're good. Be sure to get everything you need. Come tomorrow, I'll be gone. Can you talk to Shadowheart? There is work to do. Let's try this way. I can still scarcely believe it. You've returned, and the Mother Superior is gone. So much can change, so quickly. Are you just going to remain here? There's no need. Vaconia's gone. Remains to be seen. This place is all I've ever known. In time, perhaps I'll venture out there. See what I've been missing. But for now, old habits die hard. Yeah. There's still much I can't... I, there's much I still can't remember. Can you share anything with me from when we were young? Well... You had a pet mouse for a while. Cute! It was against the rules, of course. You used to hide him under your robes and feed him from your rations. Did he have a name? <laughs> Nibbles. Aw. I suggested Bree, but you were having none of it. Bree. Love she it. She caught you with him. Forced you to get rid of him in front of everyone. To make an example. Oh no. You always loved animals. But you never let yourself get too close after that. Mm, that's cruel. I'm sorry. Not the sort of thing you want to hear, I'm sure. I don't suppose there are any pleasant memories you could share? Well... You know that little scar on your elbow? That's a happy memory? You know about that? It's barely the size of a pea. Yes, I've been wondering about that. Go on. Yeah, you know about that? It's barely the size of a pea. I was there when you picked that up. It was years ago when we were initiates. Some of the others were intent on tormenting us, until you showed them the error of their ways. I think it was six against two, and most of them were bigger than us to boot, but you saw them off, all of them. Wow. There were some bruised lips and black eyes in the mess hall that night. And from then on, they left us alone. Or at least, they bothered us less. Hmm. What about the scar? A collision between your elbow and the teeth of a girl called Buddock. She came away from it worse than you. Budug. Hmm. She was on the same mission as you. I suppose she won't be coming back. I think I saw Budug's name on that list. In yeah. any case, the Mother Superior soon broke up the fighting, though she didn't punish us. In fact, I saw her smiling. I think she was proud of you. Of course she was. Anything else? Just small things. <laughs> Silly things. The sort you'd scarcely recall even if your memories were left intact. You had... A little hiding place that you went to when you needed to get away. Mm. You brought me there sometimes. We'd talk, play, read, do each other's hair. That's cute. I think I found the place you mean behind the storage area. So my hair, that was you? <laughs> You'd be the first. As quartermaster, I was able to keep it hidden back there, exactly as you left it. Mm. From what you said before, you're the one responsible for my hair? The plait and fringe? Yes, on your instructions, of course. You were very intent on a bold look, I think you said. My hands were cramped by the time I finished, but you were very pleased. Mm. I like the new look as well, though. You always did like a dramatic touch. That's our girl. All right. That was sweet. I'm glad we did that. That was... Times. Very sweet. I think, again, in the grand scheme of things, it may sound like none of those memories were specifically significant, but it's the little things, you know? 
It's the little things. I like it. I like it. Let's get out of here, Shadow. Or Janelle. Or Jevanel. Genevelle? Genevelle. Janelle. Genevelle. Jen. Jen is excitement. Ooh, Jen. Jen is fantastic. Ooh, glamour and glitter, fashion and fame. Jen, Jen is truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Oh, oh, oh Jen. Jen, cause the feel is contagious, outrageous. Jen is a name, no one else is the same. Jen is a name. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Yeah, none of this. We are shutting this place down. We are not having any of this, any of this, any of this. This is going to go. And after this, I think it's time for us for a long rest, because all my spells, my high level spells are spent. What's gonna happen? Are you gonna attack us? So. No one back home will ever believe this. <sighs> Careful, I mind. Yep. Just I figured as much. <laughs> Nothing will stand in my way. Light on my feet. Yeah. Wait, no. Sorry, we're shutting this well, down. So much for peace. We are shutting you down. Oi. Oi. Look at Regard oh, this spontaneous flatulator. Space. There you go. Stun. Yeah. Take a bite out of crime. I have missed this. The adventure, yep. the danger, the kicking of butts. Sorry, lady. Your go your business is closed. All right. What should we do now? Oh, how lovely. gonna knock him out. Stun that one too. I missed this. Okay. Next. Let's go. Fireball. Sorry, not sorry. Never a dull moment. On my way. Listen to you. Really? Quiet. Fine. Can back me up. Whose battle cry is too high for your hearing? 
But you should tremble all the same. Bye, girl. Bye.